Government sources are telling us here at CNN News 18 that the Home Minister Amit Shah, in fact, will reach Imphal today, Manipur, stay there on the 30th as well as the 31st, and then return to the national capital. Government sources also telling us that the Home Minister will hold meetings with the security brass and then review the ground situation. There's a report by our colleague Kamalika Singh Gupta. Amit's reports of fresh violence on Sunday, Monday evening, Amit Shah will be coming to Manipur in Imphal and he will hold rounds of meeting with the chief minister, with the forces. Uh, that's what we are getting it from the sources. Today evening, Amit Shah will reach, Monday evening, Amit Shah will reach Imphal. Situation in Manipur remains tense. And uh, last week, Amit Shah himself stated that he'll come to Manipur, he'll stay in Manipur, and three days he will stay in Manipur. And obviously, all the communities should stay united. Peace should prevail. That he appealed last week. And this week, Amit Shah himself, for three days, will be here. So all eyes are definitely on Shah's visit. The situation last week has really deteriorated. Uh, there has been reports of fresh violence ministers houses have been attacked union ministers house have been attacked so in this situation uh, what Amit Shah uh, says what is his message how the political outreach program takes place that's very important So what sources within the MHA are telling us is that the Home Minister, in fact, will reach uh, Manipur today, stay there for the 30th, 31st, and then come back to the national capital. Arunama is joining us on the broadcast. Arunama, good morning. Help us understand what are sources within the MHA telling you? What is the plan of the Home Minister? What are the kind of meetings that we could see the Home Minister having at a time when situation in Manipur still remains tense? Well, item officials as well as uh, MHA spokesperson's uh, office uh, they're all now confirming the Home Minister's visit. There was a lot of speculation whether there was any last-minute change, but that confirmation has now come. Uh, he will leave for Impal from Delhi uh, today evening, reach there by nightfall. And the next two days, 30th and 31st, will be spent uh, taking stock of the situation on ground. There have been a number of steps in Home Affairs ever since violence broke out, including sending advisor to Reap Singh uh, to assist the administration there, including giving power to the ADGP there uh, to tackle the crisis. But this fresh round of violence has everybody uh, troubled in Delhi. So why is this happening repeatedly? What, what are the steps that need to be taken? Uh, the security brass will, uh, you know, most likely would make a presentation when the Home Minister is there. The Chief Minister will be in attendance along with representatives uh, from the Army and the police brass. Uh, now, what is being said lately is that the fresh round of violence has been triggered because the Kuki militant group have decided to take matters in their own hands. This is no longer between civilians. Uh, this has now entered a stage where Kuki militant groups are filing at Maiti civilians. That's the charge that N. Biryan Singh, Manipur Chief Minister, has made. Uh, to counter that also, Kuki MLAs, who are from the Bharti Janta Party, they have shown a sense of no confidence in the Chief Minister, and they have made that very clear in their meetings with the BJP top brass, including with Home Minister. So that's the second challenge before him. How to ensure that politically BJP remains united, puts up a united face, uh, and uh, N. Biren Singh is giving the message that this, uh, you know, this, in, uh, this uh, impression that is being conveyed uh, to the people in the hills, mainly cookies, that because N. Biren Singh is a Maite himself, um, his administration is being by partisan. This, uh, you know, perception has to be changed. So how can that be done politically? That's the call that Home Minister will take after meeting uh, party colleagues there. Arunama, I want to understand a couple of things. As you rightly pointed out, politically speaking, there is a task at hand. But just shifting our focus back to what the ground situation is, while the chief minister has appealed for peace and calm time and again, he's also added that over 40 armed cookies have been gunned down by the security forces in the state. So as you rightly pointed out, this has reached another level as far as episodes of violence are concerned. Back home in the national capital, what is the understanding? What's really causing that issue? Policing was an issue. The way the administration was in what, uh, you know, repeated meetings that were taken by the Union Home Secretary, uh, by the senior officials, uh, by the Intelligence Bureau, 
uh, they all got that uh, got that sense from the ground uh, that the administration was not being bipartisan. Uh, you know, they were playing a role where this perception was going. For example, when in Imphal churches were attacked, this entire thing uh, got got a communal color. Uh, in Chuchandapur, in Bishnupur, in other areas where they, there are cookie dominant areas, violence broke out when administration made an effort uh, to take Maitis out. Because they said you're not doing anything for the cookies, you're only helping the mighty. Repeatedly, this perception has um, gained ground. And then, when the DGP was uh, was in a way, his powers were taken away. He was a cookie. Uh, he was he belongs to the cookie community. So that uh, you know added more fire to the rumor mill that you are not uh, being fair. You're just allowing the majority community there, which is the mighty community, uh, to get away. Something that the chief minister's office has countered, saying there's no truth in, in this and that we are there for all people. But now with this third element of cookie militant groups coming in, many of them uh, were based in Myanmar. The Myanmar-Manipur border there is like an open border. It's quite fluid. So the worry now is that they're using AK-47 rifles, they're using sniper rifles to target, target mighty civilians. When terrorists enter a communal situation, it just adds uh, to, to the violence. It just adds to the level of difficulty in bringing the situation to normalcy. So the Indian Army is trying to ensure that everybody who is a civilian and who is carrying arms surrenders their arms and that is leading to more tension in the area. Home Minister's okay. task will be to ensure that all of this is, is resolved at the earliest. Okay, Arun Ma, we'll have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. Some other reports and reactions. Situation remains tensed in Manipur. Right now, we are standing in the heart of Imphal, but the entire Imphal is deserted. None of the shops are open. You can see behind me the roads. Very few emergency vehicles are flying in. All the vehicles have been checked by the security forces. Heavy deployment of security there is there. And if you can see all the, uh, if we can show you uh, all the shops. These are closed because the curfew for long, the curfew is there. And all the shops are closed. You can also see the uh, you know the remnants of fresh violence is also uh, there. Uh, the this is this is what happened in various places of Imphal and also both the places in valleys and in hill. There has been violence. Minister's house been attacked. The Manipur really not well. This is what Ground Zero picture says it still remains tense as far as ground zero is concerned the home minister will be reaching in fall today we'll keep tracking all these